All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're covering the recent interview with Bungie's general manager, Justin Truman. He was asked about the possibility of Destiny 3, something that people often ask me and has been shut down in the past. So let's go ahead and see what the general manager of Bungie has to say in regards to this. All this, but no Destiny 3. We want it to be a single evolving world, Truman tells Axios. We're trying to make Disneyland, right? And you don't build Disneyland 2. You update it and improve it and make it more modern. Now, this falls in line with exactly what Luke Smith was saying previously in the past, which is that you know they want to keep building on this game. You might think that, hey, Destiny 3 would be really awesome, maybe a fresh start, etc. But you think that in your mind, but if you think about losing all of the loot and all the things you worked really hard for in Destiny 2, it doesn't sound very fun, actually. I mean, going from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2 was painful. Losing everything, and then now we sort of like reacquiring the old maps, we're reacquiring the old raids, the old weapons. Uh, it's not good. It's Destiny 2 needs to remain as it's going and continue to build upon the systems like they're doing with, you know, Trials Labs recently was a huge success. Trials is doing significantly better. This is the way Bungie needs to go forward, and they're continuing to do it exactly that way. The next bullet point they go over, they say, but they did. There was a Destiny 1 launched in 2014. Truman says... Uh, a single game was always the vision as he diplomatically avoids naming the game's former publisher, Activision. It was harder for us to maintain the true spirit of this vision until we were able to be creatively independent and direct how we saw the Destiny world could go. So that's actually really spicy. So apparently it was supposed to be just one game, a single evolving world, as Luke Smith says various different times. Uh, as, if you don't know, it was projected to be a 10-year plan for Destiny right off the rip. Like right as Destiny launched, they said this is going to be a 10-year long plan for content. Um, and obviously Activision pushed for that model of a Destiny 2 to resell everything. That seems to be their business model with Call of Duty. And, you know, you can hate on Activision all you want. Uh, that's been a very lucrative business model for them with Call of Duty. So uh, naturally, they'll probably want to try and push that onto Destiny, and which is why they came out with Destiny 2. It backfired terribly. And then obviously Bungie decided to leave that relationship, which turned out to be for the best, right? And so that's where we're at left today. So there was intended to be just Destiny the whole time. There was never really meant to be a Destiny 2, I guess. That was the original vision. So very interesting stuff there. Moving on to the next bullet point and something that's really interesting is on whether fans should expect the 2020 expansion Beyond Light or 2022's Witch Queen to someday be vaulted as well. This is on the issue of content vaulting. They took you know, the Tangled Shore and put it in the DCV. And I recently made a video talking about how you guys should just take Gambit and throw that in the DCV and maybe pull out Leviathan and some of those other awesome raids. But this is a really big issue in the game and they wanted to cover this in this interview. Uh, to this, Justin Truman says, I don't know, Truman, Truman says, uh, that is how we are currently managing the technical complexity. But he says, increased storage options, including the cloud, could remove one need to vault though development and platform restrictions could still be an issue. It's hard to tell what the story will look like four years from now. So there's, you know, uh, platform issues, obviously consoles and it, things not being on the cloud is an issue right now. But in the future, how cool would it be if everything that ever released in Destiny was re-released all into one game? Holy crap. That would almost be too much stuff to do. That would be insane. It would be really, really fun. I think it would be good to have all that. I mean, obviously some things would fall by the wayside, but it would be cool just to have too much to do in Destiny rather than not enough, right? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Moving on to the next bullet point and the last one that I'm going to cover for this video. Live events are also, this is a big topic, right? Are also a work in progress after Bungie's early attempt at Fortnite-style game-wide live spectacles fizzled. Truman points to a special multiplayer mission offered for just one week in February as a Destiny version of a live event. It was used to tee up the next expansion, though Bungie accidentally allowed players to skip a key cinematic scene that played at its conclusion. We learned, Truman says. So they're working on these live events. Um, I don't think that live events are going to be the cornerstone of Destiny 2. I think that they're flashy. They're good ways of getting you know a lot of old people back into the game. And I think that they're fun, and Bungie should continue to have many live events in the future. Uh, but it definitely was disastrous with the last little mini, mini live event for the way the season ended some. Definitely a, a frustrating point for them. Obviously, they're trying to develop the game and, and get it into the best place it's ever been. And personally, I'm happy that there's not going to be a Destiny 3. I don't want a Destiny 3. I want Destiny 2 to continue to improve and get better and better and better with time because I like the direction that things are going right now. So that's a wrap on this news story, though. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.
Later.